I have a really good excuse this time. Uh, so, first thing, this is my friend Louis. I am known formally as L0U13. It is customary to respond to an introduction. Please, state your name, for the record. Octavio, down! It's here to kill me! What? No! Who'd want to kill you? She is partially correct. A bounty has been posted for Bandit Queen Francine Miskovich, also known as Frostbite. Frostbite? <sighs> Octavia, start drafting up merch ideas. Already working on it. And it's Misko Wits. Yes, a typographical error which has inadvertently saved your life. So why the hell is a killbot in my shop if not to kill someone? Hanging out. He's a friend. Look, what are we gonna do about Tedior invading the planet? For Flip's sake, another corp invasion? You haven't heard? I had my own stuff going on. What kind of? Octavio, moment of your time. The killbot can wait up front. Friend. Just so you know, he was programmed to be an assassination bot. He doesn't like killing. I mean, obviously. Who likes killing? <laughs> Who the hell is that? Insurance lady. And what's on my foot? Is, is that a nipple? Thanks. I thought you were in recovery. Scolding does not look good on you, young, young, young man. Well, clearly you have nothing to worry about from Louis. At least he's programmed to mess people up. What are you doing hanging out with troublemaking assassin bots like that anyway? I taught you better than that. Oh, stop acting like you're my mom. Oh, I am not your mom. What's the damage? Streets are cleared. Commander's dead. Killed by some street punks. Any positive IDs? Affirmative. No whereabouts. Uh, Franz Frogerts. Oh, uh, the one with the negative 3.5 yell rating. Yeech. All right now. Mind telling me what that's about? Uh, well, when TDR showed up and started shooting, we kind of shot back i think they might have sort of tracked us here we'll commandeer as many free samples as possible before eradicating target so you came here i, I just it seemed like the safest place safe for who you realize the position this puts me in look i'm sorry about this but i need your help when those troops get here, I need you to cover for me. For the love of the almighty robot police, man, you know what happens when they don't believe me, right? I know, it's too much to ask, but I've got nowhere else to go, and... Stop. Look. Just... Make sure she doesn't kick up a fuss, and while you're at it, maybe start to clean up the mess on the floor. Thank you, friend. I don't know what I'd do without you. Die, probably. On your knees! Get on your knees! No. The boy in the bot, where are they? Bot sighted! Hello. On your knees! Yes. Rebel apprehended! Well done, you're really, really good at this. Oh, thank you. Love you. I love you too. What? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Respond! What boy? That boy. 
Ah, him. I fired him a week ago. Why? Incompetence. That sounds like a management problem. Maybe you didn't give him the tools he needed to succeed. Had you gone over a personal development plan with him? Prepare to fire! Preparing! Tell you what. You better get a kill shot. Because bullet wounds make me real angry. Fire it! You are about to execute a geo licensee and subsequently impact quarterly profits. Stand down. What? We're Froyo machines. They're TDR brand. We can't kill her or she'll stop paying the licensing fee. Come on! Ah! Uh, what are you two idiots doing? Hold fire! It's the... Oh. Explain yourselves. Chairwoman Coldwell! Ma'am, we were pursuing a rebel, but he's being housed by this woman, and we wanted to shoot her! But she's a TDR licensee, and now our guns will fire and... Oh, damn licensee loophole. I will have the gunsmith fix that before the next invasion. So, uh, we should just let her go? For God's sakes, use your imagination! If you can't shoot her, bring that disgusting parody of a frozen yogurt sand down on their heads. Let the rubble kill them. I swear... I should have trusted this invasion to General Stanwyck. Let him deal with you idiots. You can't do this! This was my mother's shop. I poured all my savings into it. I... Oh, you poor thing. You don't seem to understand. Huh. Soldier, bring me closer. Frozen yogurt. Huh. That's when you use milk instead of cream, yes? Never was much for it. Just seemed objectively worse than ice cream. Beneath it, almost. Well, some people might say that's a matter of opinion. But you and I know that's not true. Some things are just better than others. Some people are just better than others. <laughs> On any planet in any galaxy, the cream rises to the top. And that's why I'm here and you're there. Soldiers, bring this place down already. Yes, ma'am. Bad things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things, but that's not what makes them special. 
What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies. Forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little nugget of good. shop they destroyed everything bouncing banana blast <gasps> what have they done to you louis lou where are you come on pal you better just be looming somewhere like you always do lou make a bad joke if you hear me How did the robot get across the river? In a rowboat. Tidior starts tossing bombs left and right, and you didn't move an inch. Why didn't you do something? I analyzed every survival scenario before the first grenade hit the ground. Survival odds were greatest if I did nothing. Ha! <laughs> Your survival or our collective survival? Yes. There was, however, no scenario in which this poorly rated establishment would have survived, even if TDR hadn't destroyed it. I'm gonna need a moment to myself. I suggest you use it to teach that killbot of yours some manners. Another word out of him, and he'll be in pieces. You risked your life to save mine. This is all my fault. I I'm so sorry, Fran. Fantastic! Fudge slide! Whip your butter ripple blast! Kimchi lemon cowabunga! I have been unable to solar charge while trapped beneath the rubble. My analysis of the current situation indicates that I have ample time to deep charge while you wallow in despair. Please alert me when your wallowing is complete. Yeah, that's good source. Entering power sleep. Great. Awesome. My work bliss is destroyed, my boss is on the verge of going nuclear, and the latest planetary invader wants me dead. Louis is right. I deserve a good wallow. This is me. Wallowing. Dick keeps getting weirder. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you hated it down here. So, what's good in the hood? And nice to see you too. Looks like you've got everything perfectly in order here. 
Been doing my best to help rebuild after the first invasion, but yeah. Really, living your best life. <laughs> Under 30, flirty and thriving. So I absolutely didn't need to rush down here and try and save your life? Nope. I know the time and place aren't ideal, but I've... I've really missed you. The way I left was messy and complicated and also not ideal. But we can talk about all of that someplace that isn't a still smoking pile of rubble. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of busy. What? Oh, sorry, I forgot. You left Promethea on your schedule, you come back on your schedule. Everything's always on your schedule. And you don't look so put together yourself. Outfit torn, blood splattered on your face. As your loving brother, I gotta say, you look like hell. You look like you rolled through a rat's nest. You're giving me that Anu stare. Stare you gave me when I broke your favorite toy and then you dunked my head in the evacuator. Please don't dunk my head in the evacuator. I get it, you don't handle conflict very well, but this isn't our first invasion. Pro tips, duck and cover, run and scream, and the third thing that I forget. It'll all blow over in a snap. This isn't your garden variety invasion. Susan Coldwell invaded the Atlas Station too. She was convinced Reese Strongfork had a vault key and they wanted it. Holy crap, seriously? Yes, they showed up minutes after I was fired for the Jabbers and I think they took my boss hostage and I stole his car and I crashed on this horrible planet and they were psychos and I killed one of them with this and I tore my outfit. I had to walk so far in these shoes to find you. Whoa, 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 you killed someone? Yes. Yes, Octavio, and I feel super weird about it. Bad weird. I have a lot of emotional unpacking to do, but not here. Not on this planet. On another planet with less killing. I would prefer less killing. <sighs> Bring it in. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fine, I'm just a little... Bring it in. Shh. First kill's always the hardest. I know. I've killed many people. <laughs> so, so many people. When you think about it, killing is just being born in reverse. You could use a treat. Cuckoo coconut. The last flavor to survive the attack. Anu, this is Fran. She's taken care of me ever since you, well, left. Fran, this is Anu. My sister who was smart enough to get a job off planet. It's nice to meet you. And thank you. I love ice cream. Frozen yogurt. Oh. What's wrong with frozen yogurt? Nothing. Nothing, there is nothing wrong with frozen yogurt. Charging complete. As is, I sense, you're wallowing. Oh, uh, who's this? Louis? He's an assassination bot. But like a cool assassination bot. Incorrect. Louis? Meet Anu, my sister. This woman bears no resemblance to you. You may have been duped. Families come in all shapes around here. The shape of mine is that Anu's my big sister, and I'm her more popular adopted baby brother. Ugh. I see. You seem non-hostile. I will not scan you for contracts that would oblige me to kill you. Your survival probability is 98%. See? Cool assassination bot. We, uh, never had anything like that at Atlas. Shockingly. Atlas! Oh, no, Octavio! Not another paper pusher serving one of those heartless corporations that only exist to destroy people's lives. What? No. Oh, well, sort of, yes, but not me, no. Atlas, mellow on TDR, doesn't matter. You corp goons take what you want, you move on. You're the big people, and we're just the tiny ones getting squished beneath your heel. No, really, I, I, I... Don't squish people. I left Atlas. I swear, I never even wanted to design weapons. 
You can't just judge a person by their resume, you know. Unless you are hiring them. Well, sure. Sure. Okay. You don't build guns. You just carry them around with you? What's your deal? Anxiety. And science. Mostly anxiety. Got my eye on you. I can live with that. I will live with that. I just want to live. <laughs> Don't pay her any mind, Nanu. Took her the better part of a year to trust me. You trust him? What drugs are you putting in your frogurt? He practically invented the concept of sticky fingers. He steals constantly. Come on, Anu. You know my stealing days are behind me? Friend sure does. Back me up, friend. Friend knows what's up. Right, friend? Well, he's never been caught stealing, and technically that's all that matters. Bam! See? They don't catch me. It never happened. Great. That's... that's exactly the sort of inspirational, ethical, moral compass I was hoping you'd have. Much like this last carton of cuckoo coconut, we take what we're left with. Oh, slag it. It's empty. <laughs> Look, have I stolen in the past? Yes. Do I steal currently? I guess we'll never know. Yes, we just confirmed that you clearly, definitely steal. Point is that even if I hypothetically stole, it hasn't landed me in hot water yet. Secure around the perimeter. What was that? I definitely heard something. Like a radio. Did your calm. Octavio's pocket. Friend! A, a Tidior comms device? How the heck did you get this? Well, it's a complicated story. I, uh... Stole it. Friend! Octavio! Resistance has been minimal. We'll be back at base for happy hour. Half off banana daiquiris. Well, let's hope command finds what they're looking for. Doomsday device, whatever that is. Get us a daiquiri device, am I right? <laughs> they're looking for... A doomsday device? I think, and they think, there was a vault key being kept on the station at Atlas. That's what TDR wanted. I don't know what they mean by doomsday device. Probably something bad. Which means whatever's in that vault has got to be something big. Which means we need to get as far away from them as possible. Or maybe as close as possible. Are you completely insane? We have here what they call in the business world... A comms device. An edge. If we can find whatever's in that vault before Tidior does, we can change our lives. No. No, 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 it's not worth it. Tidior has many guns. Talking guns. Guns with legs. We will be killed by all the guns. Since we were kids, you always wanted to heal the world. To prevent suffering. Yeah? What better way to prevent suffering than stopping ruthless weapons corporations like Tidior from obtaining some priceless resource from a vault? You know whatever they want in there can be good. We, on the other hand, can change the world. We don't have to be nobodies. Change the world. Uh, that's not me. It also is not me. It's me. People call you? Anu, how are you? It's, uh, well, it's been a while since I, uh, you know... Fired me. Yeah, that. A few hours ago. Yeah, 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 ages. So, uh, you know, uh, ever since the Tedior attack, things up here have been getting a little, uh... Crappy. Catastrophically crappy. They stole our vault key. We had a vault key, and they stole it. And I know it's not mentioned in any of our brochures, but Atlas's entire business strategy sort of relies on it not being stolen. Anu, I am asking you, nay, <clears throat> begging you, please stop them from getting that vault treasure. Why would you think I'm anywhere near? Because you stole my car, Anu. And it can't be a huge shock that I can track where it is. And, and that, 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 that's fine, actually. Right now, that's totally fine, because whatever TDR's planning is gonna be just, 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 uh, just... Apocalyptic? Oh, yeah, nice vocab game. You know, I was gonna say so, so bad, but that's way better. This kid gets it. Keep him. Okay, well, I gotta run, cause, uh... Hi, boss! Looks like they're gonna... Wait, Timmy! Bye, boss! 
What's a Timmy? Tidio has disabled Atlas's comms. Timmy equals Tidio comms. Got it. You definitely have not. Balking at the first sign of danger. She's just another spineless Atlas tool. She won't stand up for you. She can't barely stand up for herself. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. I'm in. Scissors in! I knew you'd come around. Fran, putting this plan into action is on you, girl. Plan? Don't call me that. Noted. So, you come into Vault Town? <laughs> Not unless the big monster guarding the vault is named Susan Coldwell. She wrecked my shop. Nearly kicked me off the wagon. Oh, that corporate butt sniffer and I have a polyamorous date with my punching fist. So many tragedies in one sentence. I've lost enough to know that most adventures don't have happy endings. Susan is Tidior. She's the CEO, the big cheese. And we steal. It's not stealing. We lift the vault treasure from under Tidior's nose. You sock a wallop to Tidior, transit a property, you sock a wallop to Susan. Actually, yes, that logic checks out. Hmm. You always know how to weasel someone with words. Lovable weasel? Eh. All right, I'm in. Yes! Fran makes three. We'll be unstoppable when you use your crazy mode on your hover chair. I do not use that mode anymore. And L zero you won three makes four. I enjoy hunting of any kind, regardless of whether it involves paid human assassinations. That's nice. Now that you're officially a team, in the past 15 seconds I've designed, programmed and activated a teamwork morale sensor. It gathers data based on your behavior toward each other and scores your camaraderie from one out of ten skateboards. All sorts of data. Your speech, actions, how you look at each other, personal hygiene. Why are you using skateboards to rate our teamwork? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Octavia. Data suggests that skateboards are more well-received than stars, hearts, thumbs up, and winky faces. The question you should be asking, why aren't we using skateboards to rate everything else? What's so important about a teamwork score? The odds of you failing are already remarkably high. The remaining small chance of success depends entirely on your ability to work together and find cohesion as a team. Based on your interaction so far, your current rating is... 6 out of 10 skateboards! Congratulations! You're well on your way to becoming true bosom buddies. Well, whatever our score is, we start by gathering more information. That'll give us all what we want. Anu, they surely have VIP access codes to get off the planet. Fran, you get the whereabouts of Susan. Susan. And I can learn more about this vault treasure and strike it rich. We'll just eavesdrop on this comms for intel. It shouldn't take long at all. 